What if there is a world that exists above the world we think we live in? What if we are like ants, living in a dimension where we are unaware that we can go around a rock rather than constantly bumping into it? The awareness just inconceivable to our mind and completely unimaginable. The world being just a small structure and something so much larger than the universe we think we live in. Is it possible that it's just the eye of a larger body? What if we are so unaware in this dimension that we can walk through something rather than go around it because our mind at this level of consciousness simply cannot conceive the idea? What if our thoughts really do shape our reality and we are capable of manifesting things into our lives but the idea that it takes time is what continues to allow it to take time? How would we be able to walk through walls when walls are unable to be walked through? The idea alone seeming impossible. How can the ant go around the rock when it can't even imagine walking around it? Can it know something it does not know? Can it experience that in which it does not know? I, however, could put my hand down and pick the ant up from one place and move it to another. But would it even be aware that I have moved it? Are fish aware of water? Since they are completely immersed in it, do they live unaware of its existence? Is it true that when a conduct is normalized by a dormant cultural environment, it becomes invisible? What does this say for us as humans? If we imagine being ants in something much larger than us, just moving us around in space to different locations, but how could this be? Is time a linear line? Do I simply walk through space and get from one point to the next and am aware of this as it happens? How do I get from one place in time and then another? Do I actually control all of this? Sometimes I am left wondering how I got there. Actually, come to think of it, the past is just a basis for my thoughts as well as the future. When I am focused on my now moment, I think about how I got here. I search my mind for how exactly I got to this moment in time, but those are all just thoughts. How can I be certain that all those things I imagine now in my mind happen when I cannot go back in time other than with the use of my thoughts? Was there some point in time I imagined being here and that is what brought me here? A carefully constructed thought process that simply manifests what moment in time I will be experiencing next? How did I get here? Thoughts? What if I thought about being on a warm sunny island somewhere? Why is it that I cannot just be on it? Does it seem unbelievable to my mind? Well, I suppose yes, it does. But it seems all things I think are believable tend to happen. I think it is believable I will walk outside and get into my Jeep and take a drive. That is simple enough. But if I imagine getting into my Jeep, driving to the airport, and going to a deserted island, that does not seem believable because I don't have the money to do it. But why don't I imagine having the money to do it? What is this restriction that allows me to continue to believe there is a limitation on believing? In this moment, I assume that if I want to make something a reality in which to experience that I must take some form of action that would make it believable to experience it. Do I create my world of experience based on my ideas and thoughts that manifest into my life's perceived reality? What if I think I do?